Many people think of the skeleton as a dull, lifeless collection of bones. But in reality, our bones are complex, living structures that constantly change to adapt to the stresses we place on them. The adult skeleton contains 206 different bones. Luckily, we can divide all of these bones into just five different categories based on their shapes. Long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, and sesamoid bones. First, let's look at long bones. Long bones include the humerus and femur. These bones are attachment sites for muscles that move the body. Short bones are small and boxy and include the bones of the wrist and ankles. Short bones glide over one another, which is why our wrists and ankles can bend in multiple directions. Next are flat bones, like the cranial bones, sternum and ribs. Flat bones surround and protect organs. For example, the cranial bones protect the brain, and the ribs and sternum protect the heart and lungs. Flat bones also provide a large surface area for muscle attachment. Fourth are irregular bones. These bones have complex shapes and include our vertebrae or backbones. Vertebrae surround and protect the spinal cord and are attachment sites for back muscles and ligaments. And finally, there are sesamoid bones. Sesamoid bones develop inside tendons, usually in the knee, hands and feet. The patella bones, or kneecaps, are very large sesamoid bones that protect our knee joints. However, most sesamoid bones are actually very small and flat about the size of a sesame seed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more Human Biology Explained videos.